Yet another unboxing. Let's see what is in this guy. Oh, this is a watch that I ordered. Shoot, where was I headed? I think I was headed to um, San Francisco or something. I can't remember. I remember I was in the airport and uh, I was buying watches like crazy, man. I bought a few watches uh, and this was one of them uh, with a little bit of persuasion from my buddy Will, who actually kind of agreed to go halves on this with me but I haven't collected from them because I kind of wanted to make sure I got the watch and see it and everything like that before I fully committed to uh, a partner in ownership on this thing. But as you can clearly see, it's very um, elementary looking, uh, very crude type, just handwritten and drawn things. And that's the whole concept with this brand and this watch for sure. So that was what intrigued me to it. That's what drew me into it. It's called the WMT Green Label. And they're just, they're not taking, I mean, they're, I don't know, I've never actually handled one, but from the pictures, it looks like they're having some fun. They're being a little less serious about the whole watch thing. Uh, this is nice packaging. So we have a couple extra spring bars, uh, spring bar tool, and then of course the watch. Here is the watch, and uh, wait till you see this thing. This is like trying to think of the words um <laughs> so this thing is really cool so um uh, trolling maybe i guess like the seriousness of some of the watchmakers out there not watchmakers but the brands i guess um because there's a bunch of watches that are basically similar to this design but they're trying to capture like you know a story or heritage or something like that and then this company puts it out and they're just like yeah, I don't know. My uh, third grader drew the dial and the hands. I mean, if you look at the hands, even the hands are like wonky and everything. So like, uh, it's just fun. It's fun. It's a very, very much less serious approach to it. They're having a little bit of fun with it. And I think they're selling some watches too. I think a lot of other people are, are kind of getting it because this isn't the only one they make. They've made some others that I think have sold out. And this is one of them. So... Uh, I think this is a fun watch. Uh, I think it's, you know, it brings up a whole nother thing. You know, should you co-own a watch with somebody? I mean, even that, look at everything, even on the back, like everywhere is like full on just, you know, drawn with a, I don't know. It's, it's just fun. It is just fun. Let's check the bezel action on this thing. Okay. So it's a friction fit bi-directional bezel. Uh, and even the font, I'm not, everywhere I look, I'm noticing even the font, even the pip, uh, the lines, everything is wonky. This is, this thing is great. This thing is too cool. Um, I know Will likes a little bit larger watches though, so I'm not sure how well he's gonna like this, but Will, I know you're probably gonna watch this, so yeah. Um, I'll wear it, you wear it, whatever, we'll figure it out. But this thing is, uh, it's pretty fun. <laughs> is there any loom on this thing? Yeah, that's why I kind of figured. I bet you just the hands loom. I don't know that everything is loomed on this. Uh, it's got a light amount of loom. But I, I don't even care. Like, there's a little bit extra on the hour hand, minute hand. And the rest of it is actually loomed. But I don't even care. This thing is just too funny. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.